Filling your tyres with nitrogen gas is a heated topic. It's been extensively debated since the inert gas stepped out of the high performance arena and entered the everyday commuter car. Nitrogen has got a lot to live up to, especially with what it says on the box. Stable tyre pressure, better grip, improved performance, and increased fuel efficiency. But as you'll discover, it's not as far-fetched as some would have you believe. The air we breathe and the compressed air that we use to inflate tyres is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. What we mean when we're talking about nitrogen inflation for tyres is using a pure nitrogen mixture which actually contains at least 90% nitrogen. Nitrogen gas has long been utilised in the tyres of high performance vehicles such as race cars and aircraft. The rationale for this is to avoid dampness. Normal, air compressed filled tyres have a certain quantity of water. This water exists in droplets at typical temperatures such as those experienced by a plane on the runway. However, landing and braking can generate extremely high temperatures which convert water droplets to vapour causing the tyre to expand and potentially explode. This is especially hazardous given that oxygen is combustible. Pure nitrogen is non-flammable and has no water. Therefore, it's very useful to the aviation sector and high performance vehicles where high temperatures are a reality. Given these temperatures are uncommon for routine traffic, why should we use these in our everyday vehicle? The more oxygen available in the mixture, the faster it oxidizes and leaks through the tire, leading to underinflated tires. Nitrogen molecules are larger than oxygen molecules making it difficult for the nitrogen to permeate through the tyre. While the molecular size difference is only 2.6%, nitrogen filled tyres leak three to four times slower, not to sound like a broken record, but underinflated tyres are harmful to your safety and your hip pocket. A tyre inflated to the incorrect pressure offers less traction and impairs your ability to manage the vehicle. Even a slightly deflated tyre has a significantly reduced capacity to remove water. When a tyre fails to adequately displace water, it aquaplanes and you have no control over what happens next. Underinflated tyres also wear faster due to increased friction, requiring you to replace them sooner than necessary. We've seen tyres that have had their lifespan cut in half owing to underinflation. Although nitrogen inflation assists with better tyre performance and longer tyre life, no matter which inflation is used, it should never be used to replace regular tyre maintenance. This includes using ideal tyre pressures, wheel balancing, alignments, and being regularly checked for leaks, damages, and punctures to achieve maximum tyre life. For more information or pricing on nitrogen inflation for your tyres, contact your local Bob Gen Team Arts today.